Hi guys, so a little bit of a different setup to the way we usually have things. Um, this is a TV repair. Uh, this is quite a unit, I believe this is a 48 inch. Um, I've had to mess around with light stands and putting the camera basically you you are two inches away from the ceiling um, and obviously we still can't get anything uh, everything in shot um, this unit has come from a colleague and as you can see we have a standby light on there and if we press the standby button source menu or anything else nothing happens so we're gonna have to tear into this apparently it died after a power cut and try and find out what it is and what's going on uh, this is an older machine so this isn't a smart tv so we don't want to put too much time in it just uh, a couple other bits of housekeeping you are on the end of quite a contraption unfortunately it's going to be a little bit of wobble while you're this high and unfortunately it looks like those lights probably shimmer ever so slightly as well so we'll get this flipped over i'll unplug it we'll get the back off as quickly as i can and uh, then we can switch to our normal lighting which hopefully will uh, stop all of this shimmer from these over here i don't think there's anything i can do about it unfortunately they are just not the best led lights in the world so i'm going to pause here i'm going to flip this over and uh, let's see where we can go with it so it looks like we can actually get into just the electronics without having to destroy the whole thing so well, let's try and get this panel off this is so awkward to do right just go get another screwdriver so as we take each part piece of this apart I'm keeping the screws in their tub, so we'll call this tub M. Hopefully we won't have to go much further. Hmm, no plastic clips. Power supply. I don't see any signs of death and destruction on that power supply yet. Right, pause you and bring you in. So, what have we got going on here? Doesn't look too much like anyone's been in here. We've got we got a couple of bits of tape off, but that's fine. So we have an auxiliary input, our main display processor. We have our TCOM board off down here, and we have our power supply. Uh, this is where we're going to start, I think. Um, I will just pause you a second and check a few things. So this is where my suspicion is the problem is going to be. It normally is power supplies. Um, so we'll take that board out and have a quick look um, We've got a UART header here as well. So if we find the power supply is fine We can have a look see what the uh, processor on the machine is doing um, I don't see any problems. This is an LED backlit TV um, I suppose the other thing we should do is check that this standby button actually works which would be this ribbon coming up here um, we would want to see that there's three volts or something there just to make sure that uh, we're trying to boot. So I'm going to put you down, I'm going to go get the meter and some power leads and uh, we'll have a little bit of a poke around and uh, hopefully this isn't going to play up too badly. Right, I've tried to arrange this in such a way that you can see what's going on. Got the meter on, got the insanely tiny little probe. And what I'm going to do is power this up and let's see what we've got. So, uh, I am grounded to the chassis over here. So with this upside down it's slightly difficult to see what's going on. Um, so we should have something on one of these to say that we've got power left. We've got five volts there. That's good. 
what we can do is as we go through these see if anything does anything with our switch we've got a 5 volt supply so there we go there's our power switch our power switch does indeed work so uh, the question is, is we will now have somewhere something that tells our main power to come on. So we will check on the edge connector from the power supply. We've definitely got 5 volts there. You'll hear the 3D printer going in the background. It looks like that 5 volts is the only voltage we've got, possibly. We've got 5 volt there. Let's change this speed a little. See, I wouldn't expect. Now, this to me. saying that the power supply is okay. Maybe I need to lift this up and quickly check that we've not actually come on. No, the standby light is still on. Uh, right. So, are we on and we just don't have our inverters? Oops. That's our audio output stage. We've got a regulator there that's giving us three volts. The micro is actually warm. So I think we're actually running. Have we lost just the backlight inverter? Hundred and thirty five volts DC. Could be, but I wouldn't expect that power light to be staying solidly on. Hmm. And what have we got on this pin coming back from here? So that's curious. Everything here is telling me that this is alive and running, but we have no backlight and we have no power light telling us that we are alive. Have we got anything on our LNB feed? Hmm. Not necessarily expecting to see much, to be honest. So where do we go with this? Is this going to be a UART job? And see what we're being told? Is this another one that's uh, trying to boot and failing? Um, which is going to necessitate either a flash or replacement of this board? Which I'm not sure would be worth it, although being as old as it is, it might be a fairly cheap solution. Is it a backlight problem? Have we actually got a screen up? Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Where do we go with this one now? Right, I'm going to pause you for a sec because I need to have a think about what is most likely going on here. Um, and ways that we can work out what this is actually doing. My gut feeling is this is actually working and we've lost backlights on it. So, to be fair, if that's gone, if the TCOM board's gone, if the power supply's gone, and especially if the backlights have gone, it's a dead television. Uh, there's not really much point in replacing those for what this is worth. It's a shame. So I'm going to pause you and we'll be back in a second. So my concerns are that that backlight may be uh, 
faulty or it's gone there's an LED gone open circuit in the string um, as you can see I am now across the backlight it doesn't matter which way round I'm going I'm open circuit so my gut feeling is, is I can see the power supply is working I can see that's working the power light not changing when you press standby could be a red herring it could also be the TV saying it's in protection because of that backlight. Um, so how far down this rabbit hole do I want to go is the next question. And it's quite a difficult one to answer. I do have another TV that I need to do, which I can get up for you. Um, I know that one is just a recap though, so it's not really a particularly spectacular one so to speak I've got a couple of recaps to do well this is the quandary I've got obviously you guys want a, you guys want a video I'm sure you'd love to see me take this panel apart and uh, dive into uh, what might be going on in the back um, but I'm going on a hunch here and work value wise this machine really isn't worth more than about 20 or 30 pounds which means half an hour of my time and yeah it's not worth doing so unfortunately i think i am going to stop this one here throw the screws back in and uh maybe we'll bring one of the other ones in and uh do those but i'm sure you've seen plenty of recaps um what i will do is uh, bring you down a little bit further or even take you out the tripod and uh show you what's going on in here so i'm just going to bring you in freehand you have to excuse the wobbling because i'm not good at this the power supply which appears to be divided into a main supply and then an inverter section here that's kicking out 135 volts DC which I don't believe is correct um, it could be an offload thing we've got a 5 volt power supply here and two 12 volts we've then got our main control board there which is showing every sign of being alive I think and then there's a little AV board up there and then down here which you've not been able to see is the TCOM board. So those tiny wires, where are they? There, I believe are our, our inverter. So we could be driving at high voltage to avoid high current. Um, but yeah, without completely dismembering this machine, which I don't really have the time or desire to do, um, we can't really go any further. Let me know if you'd like me to uh, tear this down completely to the backlight. Um, it's not something I'd enjoy doing, but maybe on this once we could tear it down and chase into uh, what might be going on with that LED string. I do have a really nice 4K LG, um, which has bad LEDs. It's done the LG thing and gone um, blue and very dim. I've thought about changing the LEDs on that because it is a really nice TV and actually... It's one I wouldn't mind using. Again, I've got to think of return on investment in terms of my time, and this just isn't worth it. Anyway, take care. Catch you soon.